the church and state is going to unite in the last days and they will bring the mark of the beast that the Bible says. So notice. <laughs> The Jesuit order, they also infiltrate every religion, especially Sunday churches. That's why Revelation chapter 17 called this power, horn. Notice, the mother of harlot. Jesus Christ is the one who died for the whole world and he's drawn everybody to himself. But this power, they don't want you to go to Jesus Christ. They want you to go to them and confess your sin to them. So notice what Revelation chapter 18 says. And they also infiltrate the kings, presidents. So notice. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen and is fallen. And is become the habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of her fornications. And notice, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And now because they control every president in every country, they are new world order. So now they are using the president to sign up laws and all kinds of rules like gay and lesbian. And now they don't want you to talk about Bible, you know, if you go to work, they don't want you to talk about Christ because, you know, they say it's offended. They try to put the whole world in darkness. They don't want people to know the truth just like what they did in dark ages. They remove Bible from people and they put people in darkness so that they can control them. That's what they're doing again. Notice what Bible says in Romans chapter 13 verse 11 to 12. And do this knowing the time that now is a high time to awake out of sleep. Now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore let us cast off the walk of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. The time you have spent to study Bible a year, now you have to do a couple months. It's time to pray more and talk less. Friends, Jesus Christ is coming for the church without spot or wrinkle. Watch this. The coronation of Queen Elizabeth. Like British monarchs before her, she promised to maintain the laws of God and the true profession of the gospel. But Britain today is at war with the gospel and with itself. Christians who try to be Christians in the workplace risk being demoted or fired. And the government continues to push an aggressive gay rights agenda while threatening to criminalize Christian speech and practice. Christian politician and activist George Hargraves. Yesterday I got a letter from the Advertising Standards Authority of a complaint saying that my billboard that says Britain is a Christian country is offensive to atheists and other religions and it incites hatred against them. What nonsense. Britain is constituted as a Christian country. Daily prayers are said in Parliament, whether atheists like it or not. The Queen is the head of the Church of England and therefore has to acknowledge God for her sovereignty over the nation. These things are written into not just our culture and our heritage, but into our constitution. Great Britain is officially a Christian nation, and in fact at one time was the missionary base for the entire world, even sending missionaries to the new American colonies. But Britain today in practice is increasingly anti-Christian, and the cases of anti-Christian bigotry and discrimination are beginning to pile up. In response, Christian legal centers have mobilized. Lawyer Andrea Minicello Williams of Christian Concern for Our Nation warns that if British Christians don't step up now, Britain is on a path to criminalize the practice of Christianity in public. There's been a massive move by the secularist lobby to privatize religion. You can have faith so long as it doesn't affect you in the workplace, so long as you don't bring it into the workplace. Just make it private. It can't be public. It can't affect what you do in the public square. Christian Quabena Pete was forced to attend homosexual sensitivity training at work, administered by a lesbian. One of the things that she said was when she asked the question, what makes you all think that to be heterosexual is natural? 
at which point I walked out. He then wrote a letter to the sensitivity trainer explaining the Bible's position on homosexuality and that God loved her and he loved her. He was suspended. They said that by me telling them about the word of God, it constituted harassment and intimidation. Quabena was just recently reinstated. Cases like Quabena's are repeated over and over in Britain. Doctors, nurses, adoptive parents deemed unfit because of their Christian beliefs. Christians are told not to speak about God in the workplace or they're punished for offending homosexuals or Muslims. And the British government recently tried to pass an equality bill that would have forced churches to hire practicing homosexuals or transsexuals. Christian lawyer Paul Diamond has been very successful in fighting Christian discrimination cases in the courts. In the United Kingdom, the homosexual agenda is militants, and they've been arresting Christians, jailing Christians for hate crimes, shutting off grants, constant litigation with the government, constant aggression, there's no live and let live, your Christian values are wicked and evil and that's what they want everybody to believe. That sounds like a BBC program which portrayed a violent Christian beheading a Muslim. Britain's government TV has also put a Muslim in charge of all of its religious programming. Islam continues to advance in the UK in large part because the government and media give it almost a protected status, while essentially persecuting its own state religion, Christianity. Many believe the architect of Britain's new anti-Christian culture was former Prime Minister Tony Blair, who championed gay rights. And during our interviews with Minicella Williams and Diamond, they both offered the same warning to American Christians, that any anti-life or hate crimes legislation under the Obama administration will erode America's Christian base. This is all coming to America if you liberalize the laws, as President Obama has done. Do you know who Obama reminds every British person of? Tony Blair. Charming, persuasive, convincing, um, appearance of moderation, and then shoved all the Judeo-Christian values down, saying he was a Christian as he did it. So we know what's going to happen in America. We know what's going to happen to your 40% church attendance. It isn't 40%, it's going to be 20%. When the, when the federal and state government start saying, if you criticize homosexuality, the hate crime laws will apply to you Christians. Friends, the Bible said the darkness covered the earth and grows darkness the people. One of the things that this Babylon, the Bible also says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, if you get time, read it, because that's how you're going to know that this power is the Antichrist because this is the doctrine, the old time, dark ages, the reformers, they used to preach and they point to this power, Antichrist, but now you don't hear no more. One of the things that they're doing is they infiltrate almost every system, so they're using so-called movie stars or famous, so to speak, and they train them how they can dress short, shirts and whenever they do that because they know that if they wear any kind of shirt the world is going to copy and they're going to dress like them so they come up with all kinds of Babylon pagan short shirt half naked dress the devil's binding the world together to receive the mark of the beast and now the senses of rational being has become so confused that they cannot be trusted to make a right decision they don't know how they dressed they don't know how they eat that's why Revelation chapter 18 God help us to understand that this world this earth has become demonic the hateful bird ever unclean this Babylon religion confusion true mixed with liar when they front of the camera they pretend like humble people hypnosis they hypnotize in the world the Antichrist hiding in plain sight the Bible called this system the mystery it's a mystery for a lot of people and according to Revelation chapter 13 the whole world will wonder after the beast Whenever this power, the force, the mark of the beast, the world is going to be wonder. They're going to be like, we thought they are humble, smooth, walking, good people. 
the beast is a language that God is using for this power. And they themselves, they says in their own book, the book of Catechism, the old version, notice, they say Sunday worship is their mark of authority. The new version, they don't use the word authority, but at least, thank God, they still admit it, even the new version of Catechism. They still says they changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. The mark of the beast is not worldly speculations that sometimes you hear. Some people says, well, it's computer chip, but unfortunately you don't find in the Bible.